Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back and I have got many requests for uploading a video related to success in foreign lands. So here is an example chart of somebody who was not very successful when this person was in his homeland. Uh, but uh, now because the person has moved to a different country, uh, the person is uh, quite successful so today we will try to see the positions and the placements which can give a person success in foreign lands in matters of career especially all right so if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career you can always go to my website down in the description section and yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So, this is a very beautiful chart. For multiple reasons, of course. One of the most important uh, reasons is because there are many good yogas in this chart. All right, We will discuss about all of them. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to check for a person to settle permanently in abroad that is the connection of the ascendant or the ascendant lord with the third ninth or the twelfth house the houses either of the three okay because these are houses of travel and movement and when the lagna lord is placed in either of these houses the probability for settling permanently in abroad increases quite a bit okay so, if you see here, Pisces Lagna, Jupiter is the Lord in the third house. So, the ascendant Lord is in the third. And this third house especially is 12th from the fourth house of homeland and mother. So, generally they say 12th house represents foreign lands. But, in my experience, I have also seen uh, the third house giving settlement abroad or at least third house can give you a feeling that uh, you may not be doing very good in your home country so maybe you should change the country or you, know, you will get an internal feeling like that but now 12th house has to be associated if you want to finally settle abroad okay so it cannot happen that your lagna lord is in third or third lord is in lagna and the 12th house is not supporting and then you go and settle abroad that is somehow not possible that could be a situation where uh, you want to stay abroad but somehow you cannot okay you end up staying in your own country so now uh, there's nothing good or bad about staying uh, in abroad or own country these are just astrological principles to highlight okay so this is the first thing that we see okay the connection of the ascendant with the lords of these houses okay now apart from that uh, we we need to check the ascendant also that is also important okay so if you try to check the ascendant uh, you you will see that no planet is aspecting but there are books which say rahu aspects the 12th house from where it sits okay and because it is retrograde so it is the second so Rahul also lords Aquarius. So as the 12th lord, he is expecting the Lagna. So this becomes an added factor. The third thing which I have seen is malefics, natural malefics, okay, not functional malefics, natural malefics which are Saturn, Mars. I, I take natural malefics for Saturn, Rahu, Ketu primarily. I do not take Sun, Mars uh, too much, okay. But yeah, Sun, Mars are also separative. So you can also count them as malefics. Algav Vadi as they say. So here if you see, uh, the Lagna is afflicted by Rahu because he's a natural malefic there. And that to add it, he's the lord of the 12th house. And I have also seen if the 4th mm, house is afflicted by natural malefics then also the person has a tendency to go and settle in a different place okay 
so if you see here saturn is the 12th lord and he is also a natural malefic and he is directly aspecting this 4th house directly no doubts on this so uh, malefics in the 4th or aspecting the 4th if there are too many especially then I have seen that uh, the person somehow doesn't stay happy in his home country now just because this person has uh, malefics aspecting the lagna or the fourth house or the lagnesh is in third or ninth or twelfth it does not mean that the person will be successful if he goes there okay so for that we have to check certain houses okay but before the connection of foreign lands we we have to in general check what is the situation of the houses of money so which are the money houses we have the money houses as the second house the sixth house the tenth house and the eleventh house these four are the houses of money so if the lords of these four houses are sitting in each other's houses to or together anywhere or best is if they are sitting together in these houses or they are aspecting each other okay or they are under parivartan yoga that is the best thing to happen for money so uh, in this chart if you see mars is the lord of the second house he is himself situated there okay so second lord in second great for finances great for money great for wealth fantastic it is if the second lord is well placed i have seen finally the person ends up saving a lot of money because second house is the house of savings people think 11th house is important 11th house is important but 11th house is the house of income it is not the house of saving so ultimately it does not matter how much you earn it matters how much you save actually so if you earn 10000 usd monthly and if you are spending 9000 so ultimately you are saving only 1000 all right so earning more does not get does not uh, guarantee that you will save more that depends on your lifestyle and your habits especially okay so and 90 percent of the consultations that i do the clients that i see the people i i do not see a problem uh, with earnings okay that happens uh, with around 10 percent of the cases but uh, generally I have seen that uh, the problem is more with savings especially because their lives are uh, not in Satoguna, they are in Rajoguna and Tamoguna primarily so they are so they end up spending too much money and so much that even if they are earning mil in millions they are spending in millions okay so we must check the second house and I have also seen that if the second house has some links with the trines then saving is even more easier okay so now you check in this chart here second lord mars is also the ninth lord and he's also sitting with a uh, moon there if you see moon is the fifth lord so trinal lords are the lords of the fifth and the ninth especially so the trinal lords in the second house this is one of the best placements that you can have in the whole group when it comes to finances because this this will ensure that somehow or the other you are saving a lot of money because trying to show the blessings of goddess lakshmi basically okay now the next is lord of the sixth so where is the sixth lord placed the lord of the sixth is sun and it is placed in the 11th house fantastic this is the best placement that you can have for competitions any kind of competition or competitive exams you can relatively have more success if you have the lords of the sixth and the 11th somehow linked sixth lord in 11th 11th lord in sixth or sixth lord conjunct the 11th lord and sitting in either of second sixth tenth and 11th houses so these are very 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 good placements actually then we check the 10th house so what is going on in the 10th house where is the 10th lord jupiter jupiter is in third house okay so jupiter is not in any of these four houses but if you see saturn is the 11th lord okay 11th lord in the 10th this is the best combination for income actually you will you can earn like 
like nobody else so therefore the 11th lord is in the 10th okay and now the 10th lord which is jupiter is aspecting the 11th house okay so this is kind of a uh, this is almost like like a parivartan yoga no, not exactly but still uh, so it's like saying jupiter is aspecting that house at least okay so it is like sukshma parivartan as they say and so as i said if the lords of these houses are in parivartan it is fantastic actually it's very good for money so now saturn is the 11th lord in the 10th and jupiter aspects the 11th which is again great for finances now another thing i have seen is okay so now let's go to the 11th house okay so 11th house has the 6th lord and the 10th 10th lord fantastic for wealth and money and prosperity okay so now let us go to the concept of success in foreign especially okay so always remember what i will speak now can be there in horoscopes of people who have gone abroad and uh, have had success but if you do not have the placements uh, which i mentioned before these lords of the 6th 2nd and 10th and 11th in exchange or parivartan then even if you go abroad uh, to any country you may not be able to earn that much or save that much okay but if you have these placements even if you are in your home country you will have great income great savings great wealth and even if you don't have these foreign stuff okay so now if you check here the most important thing is to check the relationship between the 10th house and the 11th house along with the houses of travel which is the 3rd the 12th and the 9th okay so now in this horoscope you see saturn is the 11th lord but it is also the 12th lord it is sitting in the 10th house so that means the moment he goes abroad this uh, 10th house which is the house of name fame gets activated and also the house of income okay huge income comes in then another thing i have seen if the lords of the third uh, and the ninth and the twelfth are somehow associated uh, with each other okay so uh, this means if suppose uh, mars saturn rahu and venus are somehow sitting in each other's houses okay so now you see rahu is the 12th lord it is in own 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 house it, in fact it is in multikona it's a very great placement for rahu and sometimes they say rahu also gets exalted in aquarius some say he gets multikona there okay so it's up to you which statement you would like to follow some say it is his own sign also so now if you check carefully this third lord venus is again in the 11th house so that means the moment he travels somewhere uh, and uh, then his income will rise okay and um, this venus is very important because he is dispositor of the lagnesh okay so the dispositor of the lagna lord is uh, a very important planet of course that protects the lagnesh the body the person okay so this is a very important planet so if the dispositor of the lagnesh which is venus here because venus is uh, the one who is dispositing jupiter is somehow linked to the money houses i have seen it is extraordinary for name and fame so now here venus is not only the dispositor of the lagnesh it is also the third lord so third lord in the 11th is also a great placement and apart from that you also have to check certain things so suppose this person would come to me and say that i want to go abroad to some other country but uh, can i have success in my homeland okay so i would have told this person that because your second sixth tenth and eleventh houses are very strongly linked therefore you will also be successful if you stay in your home country you do not necessarily need to go abroad 
if you want to go that is your free will you will also obtain success there but this this factors this factor is irrespective of the fact that <coughs> you stay in your homeland or you go abroad okay so apart from that i have seen the <coughs> if the trinal lords are somehow linked to the fourth house then also uh, the person can uh, want to stay in his home country only okay and not go abroad so and if the uh, malefics natural malefics are associated with the fourth house then better is the person goes abroad so here you see mercury is there mercury is there in the 11th house of course this is very good for uh, finances this can show that the person can also obtain success in homeland okay especially or in matters of land or real estate or any kind of business uh, related to vehicles or liquids also at times brings uh, but here if you see the uh, the fourth house is afflicted by saturn so now if this person would have come to me before i would have suggested uh, if you would have asked me that should i stay or i should i go abroad then i would have said because your lagnesh is uh, you know in the third house and because saturn aspects the fourth and your rahu is also in the 12th so i would have told him uh, it would be better for you to go abroad okay that would be a better suggestion for you and apart from that you can also put uh, put an eye to the navamsha chart okay so the navamsha chart is very important so for foreign especially as i said the the money houses should be linked with the the house of travel so the third ninth uh, or the 12th so here it is you know saturn is sitting here and guru is also in the third so but <coughs> you also have to give a look at the navamsha okay so what is happening in the navamsha chart if you see clear carefully the fourth lord of the navamsha chart which is uh, jupiter which can actually show the inner peace which a person gets when he stays in his homeland uh, that is somehow not well placed it is in the rahu ketu axis in fact it is debilitated also so this is a very challenging placement for jupiter so uh, this means that uh, even if the person would have stayed it would have been uh, difficult for him to be uh, very 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 happy and content in his homeland okay so i i especially look at the fourth house i always look at the fourth house of navamsha whenever somebody has questions related to homeland or foreign and if you also check uh, you know mars and sun are two planets which are again aspecting this you know two malefics aspecting the fourth house so <coughs> and uh, i have also seen in navamsha trines are afflicted then also the person doesn't like to stay uh, in his homeland so here again this saturn is there in the ninth you see so anyways there are multiple things which we can see uh, and jupiter as the lagnesh of the navamsha chart is also in debility so if the lagnesh of the navamsha chart is in debility then also i have seen the person sometimes does not like to stay uh, in the home country because navamsha can show uh, circumstances of your birth or the people you grew up around or like so if the navamsha lagna lord is in debility so that's like saying uh, you at times don't like the people who were there in your childhood okay with you around you basically so then you prefer going to a different place could be a different state or a different country and then uh, having success there okay so these are multiple things which you can observe in the chart you can combine the lagna chart and the navamsha chart and then you can get more clues about this all right thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then uh, you can always uh, go to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website all right 
God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.